Hi, I'm Jack Lucas, finalist of MasterChef 2014, and welcome to my winter warmer series for Scoff. Today I'm cooking something truly unique, doing a hay smoked rack of lamb with petit pois à la française. Right, so the first job we need to do is to sear off our lovely rack of lamb. Now, to do that, we're going to just sear it off in a casserole pan. Before I put the lamb in, all I'm going to do is score on the fat side, just to help that render down. All you want to do is, in a crisscross pattern, just pierce the surface of the fat, but try not to cut too deep down into the flesh. Once you've crisscrossed the lamb, just give it a really good seasoning. Now, salt's really important, especially on the fatty side, because that will help to draw out the moisture and help to render that fat down. So be quite liberal, bearing in mind also that a lot of this will fall off during the cooking process. And the other seasoning, of course, I'm using is pepper. And again, be quite generous with the pepper. Season the board, season the lamb all over. Okay, and when the pan's lovely and hot, let's add in our lamb fat side down. And you want to hear a really lovely sizzle when it goes in. If you just apply a little bit of pressure onto the lamb, it will help to generate that kind of even colour all over, which is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so once the fat's rendered and you've got a wonderful golden crisscross pattern, we just want to sear off the rest of the meat to ensure that none of those lovely juices escape during cooking. So just turn the lamb and just sear off those sides and the bottom for a couple minutes more and then we can remove it. Now the lamb's taken on a really wonderful golden colour all over, it's time just to take it out onto a clean chopping board. And then this is when we go a little bit retro. We're going to add in some hay. Now you've got to be really careful what hay you use. You want to go for um, animal hay that's suitable for kind of bedding, not the stuff that's straight out of your farmer's garden or the farmer's field because that hasn't been processed and isn't suitable for eating. So all we're going to do is pop in a couple of handfuls of this into the same pot that you seared off the lamb in and you want to kind of create a little bedding for the lamb to sit on. Now what's going to happen is this is going to start to cook and sort of smoke up and it's going to impart a really lovely earthy flavour into the lamb that works absolutely fantastically well. It sounds a little bit bonkers and it is a bit bonkers but it's one of those things that once you try it you'll, you'll be doing it again. I'm going to pop in a little bit more oil Okay, now once it starts to smoke slightly, this is when we're going to pop in our lamb and just rest that on top, making sure the air can kind of get to it. We're going to pop on the lid and pop it in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes for sort of medium, medium rare. Remove the lamb from the oven and give it a quick pinch. It should feel spongy to the touch. Now set aside on a plate somewhere warm to rest for a few minutes and glaze with a bit of melted red currant jelly. Okay, to go with this show-stopping hay smoked lamb, I'm going to serve it with petit pois à la française. The first thing that we need to do is get on some smoked bacon. Fry in a little oil until golden, and then in with the halved baby shallots. Cook for a few minutes until translucent. Next, pop in a couple of cloves of garlic and fry for 30 seconds, and in with a splash of stock just to cook the onions through. Season with pepper, but no salt, just because the bacon is naturally very salty. Add in the peas and cook for a few minutes with a little more stock. Pour in a splash of cream, Add in some shredded gem lettuce and a knob of butter and cook out for a couple minutes longer. And that's how you make this super simple French accompaniment. If you miss any of the ingredients along the way, just head over to the website for the recipe. So here you have it, my super simple hay smoked rack of lamb with petit pois à la française. All I'm going to do is serve it up a nice generous portion of the peas and then some of these lovely still pink and blushing lamb cutlets, rest those on top. If you've enjoyed this recipe at all guys, please do send us your pictures. We would love to hear from you on Twitter, Scoff Food. Hope you enjoyed it.